everybody, Invisible Katana here doing an unboxing. Sorry, an unboxing, yeah. This is new, is you got like the super wide view because we got this giant box here. You can see I got all my crap behind me. There we go. Um, I saw some stuff recently. We're doing an unboxing and review of the Ash Williams figure, the deluxe edition, or they typically call these things luxury editions, but for whatever reason, they went deluxe instead of luxury. Um, Ash Williams, Evil Dead 2. So I didn't look into this until like right before I was streaming because I was sending stuff out. I was like, oh, let's see if people got reviews out. And I saw some things and I was like, oh, I didn't know those things were things. So we'll see how this turns out. As you can see, I like Evil Dead. I love Evil Dead, in fact. I got my shirt, Ruby, all that good stuff. I'm still excited, but I didn't realize that there were some issues. Or sort of things. You know, typically when I pre-order stuff, um, I don't really look too much into it as things get further along. And typically, the channels I watch normally cover it. Considering this was a very niche thing, I didn't even think to really look into it because most of the stuff I look into or most of the stuff I pre-order typically is fairly covered. So I hadn't thought to even look into it like, oh, maybe I should check and see how things are coming along. Honestly, I kind of trusted Asmus because from all the reviews I've seen of the other things they've done, which mostly I've looked into the Devil May Cry stuff because I love Devil May Cry, I was kind of like, oh, okay, she'll be good. She'll be fine. Everything will be okay. So we'll see. But as of now, I'm still excited. We'll see what happens. If I truly, truly hate it, we'll see what happens. I kept the box just in case. So we shall see. But as of now, we're going to be opening and reviewing the Asmus Toys Evil Dead Ash Williams figure. For one thing, I like that they'd use, for whatever reason, they use the Evil Dead. As you can see, it's like it's the Evil Dead one. But on the side, because it's specifically for Evil Dead 2, it actually says Evil Dead 2, which you can see the font for the Evil Dead 2 there. So I thought that was interesting. That was something I happened to notice when I opened it up. I was like, oh, they went with like the original text. But on the side, it actually is the Evil Dead 2 stuff. And on the back here, this is the kind of a hint towards the deluxe base that it comes with. So we're going to pop this open and check it all out. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. So as you can hear in the background as well, we have the Resident Evil music playing because I figured it made whoops, it made more sense. I can't see anything now off any of my stuff. I figured it made more sense to do it that way than... Um, risk any sort of potent even remotely potential copyright coming from having uh yeah, it's just through all my stuff i clicked everything off there you go wanted to have like that that cool lighting but didn't want to risk anything as far as even remotely possibly getting any copyright from music so i was like hey let's just go with resident evil because it's creepy and also i have my leon figure as the comparison uh as far as size is concerned so we got the box oh this is actually embossed that's actually really cool like the letters are raised and stuff great box art it's simple is you know i mean a lot of places do this but i like it it's a, a nice picture of the actual figure itself like i said it's embossed so it's actually raised here so that's very cool even the little blood splatters here are actually raised like ash's thing is one solid piece but like the little blood splatters and stuff they're actually uh raised up so that's cool got like a little crease and stuff on my box which always kind of sucks and i think this flips from this end if i'm not mistaken. oh or maybe it slides there it is and I'm like, I could tell the like this bottom piece here is actually open where it says Evil Dead. That's that's open space. So let's light this up. See what he's looking like. Can't really see him from here. His face is covered. And it's to hide the shame. We'll find out in a second. But yeah, I saw I saw the, the images and I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know that that was I didn't know that there was a problem happening. So that I thought was pretty interesting. Um, the stuff for Henrietta that seems like that's just that which is really crazy to me so we will find out once again we'll pop all this stuff open and see what's what oh that's a great sound right there just that's that's great great audio this is the setup i have so that's why also my arm is like way up here i normally have it like down right in front of me but i was like i i need space for the box and i don't have the setup i don't have like a shotgun mic i wouldn't have anywhere to actually put it anyway so this is the setup this is how it is so we'll pop these hands out of here first and then we'll get Ash himself. So I did go for the deluxe edition, which well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's it's not that great. So we got the box here. So you can check out these details. So there's a box right there. You can see those details and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna just go on ahead and just bring Ash right here. And uh yeah, he don't he don't, he don't look like that. Like that looks really detailed to me. On this, doesn't look as detailed. Also, he kind of looks like he's looking up, which is really weird. And that's not just like his head, like it's 
the ways that like his actual eyes are like wonky I, I that won't show up i'm gonna add this stuff because i'm gonna do this i'm gonna put this on my main channel so if you guys want to check out like the super close-up shots uh, you can check out my main channel invisible tatana i will have like the extra pictures and stuff like that but oh i wish it would show up so bad you can kind of tell just a little bit like it, it's sort of washed out so i'd have to get better lighting for it you can kind of see his eyes don't exactly even match like his right eye genuinely is like looking up and his left eye is kind of looking straight and i'm pretty sure this doesn't have the uh the moving eye system so i don't think that's really a thing but we'll, see, you know, we'll, we'll keep on keeping on so i believe this yeah this comes with yeah so the seamless arms are in the other uh spot there but all in all i mean it looks cool of course you know just to start it off it's a cool ash figure so that's pretty sweet that you know some dirty hands and stuff like that which is fine and with, you know how it's supposed to look actually the shoes actually look kind of cool and a bit grimy and stuff like that it's of course all cloth because he wore actual clothes so if you <laughs> you wouldn't expect anything else got some leather the usual you know pretty much everything you would expect you know not any real leather or anything like that but it looks nice aside from you know the face not being nearly as detailed um as what you would expect yeah like it's literally just like it, it kind of just looks like a drawing you know it's so hard to really explain it and i guess technically it, it, i mean it, it is all painted and stuff like he doesn't actually yeah so on the picture here on the little prototype he actually has two yep so you can see on the box he's got that the nick on his nose that goes across his nose and then he's got like a tiny little one right up at the front he has neither of those neither of those are, are on here so that's something that's definitely something like, oh, okay. they, they didn't do either of those so that's like i said that's something that's definitely something but yeah it doesn't look as good it, it still looks like a good figure um but it's definitely it's really the paint more than anything else that's the funny thing about it it's not even the head sculpt that's a problem aside from the fact that like i said his eyes are just not 100 percent the way that they should be i don't know that's really weird to me but the face itself is good the face itself is fine it's just like looking at this the paint just looks cheap that's like the only way i can think to describe it like the detailing of the actual paint just even from this i i think it's you know how reflective it is and stuff like that you know it it looks extra detailed like just looking at that and then you get this and it's honestly just it's just red across his head and it doesn't it, it, it just doesn't look the way that that kind of looks on the box so unfortunately i think this is just how it is and i like i said if i depending on how i feel going forward we'll see as far as it comes to like returns and whatnot but i don't think i'll hate it too much to you know enough to actually return it but at the same time this was um the deluxe edition of it so it was more expensive and it's like mm, well, you know we'll see especially when we get to uh henrietta so we'll see how that ends up playing out once again amazing sounds with just squeaky plastic we'll shift him over here and we'll go back and stuff we'll check out the weapons and everything like that actually these are all protected pop these open so we got our extra head sculpt okay. have our extra head sculpt which actually looks pretty good now i'd have to look at like side by side comparisons but the head sculpt actually looks good once again no joke it's the paint like i i should actually look up a couple of pictures here just so i can get a little comparison myself and man that's super heavy like that's the deluxe bases in there it's super heavy um let me check this out because the deadite head seems okay not to get super close and you can just see it's just the paint just looks so meh it's weird and the head does look much darker than i think it did um kind of just trying to go through and look at it yeah yeah i guess you could kind of count that as lighting i guess the color's not too bad it's really just the paint the paint application on this I just don't like and it's honestly it's just a giant like red gash across the head and it just doesn't look right like it's just 
It's like this this box. It's just just one color, just straight across. That's what it looks like, except it's red, just across you know both heads. It's just like, hmm, what a choice. Yeah, and the paint on the ears just. It's weird to say it looks uninspired, but that's how I feel about it. Like when you see it, it's just like, it just, I don't know. It's hard to, to really explain it, where it's just like, it just looks meh when it comes to the actual paint application. And that's the thing that's getting me the most, because like, especially just the red across the top just looks so crappy to me. Like I'm looking at the picture and it looks like detailed and stuff. And then I look down at the figure and it's literally just like, it was like Rafiki and, and freaking Lion King just went like, you know, right across the top of his head. Like, that's what it looks like. So that I would say is like my main thing when it comes to this. It's not even the actual sculpt. Like, it's not as detailed. I, like, I think it's OK. Like I said, I'm looking at the actual picture as far as like Ash's normal face is concerned. It's still not as close. It's not as detailed. Um, oddly enough, I feel like I've seen pictures where it looked a little bit worse, but it's definitely like, all right, yeah, that's Ash. But it doesn't look as good like something about it, it's just like those minute details like i said like he doesn't even have the little gash across the nose like neither of the little cuts so there's definitely bits and pieces that are missing from the prototype that they had and it's definitely a more i think toned down version from what you see in the picture like just looking at the picture is like okay that looks like it has more detail than what i have which is exactly what's happening and so that's the classic thing where it's like hmm i don't like that too much so that is, I think I just put the wrong bag over there, but yeah, okay. So, you know, starting off, it's definitely got a couple things where it's disappointing because it's not as epically detailed as the other, you know, the pictures showed. So that's, of course, a huge problem. Uh, this is pretty much exactly what we saw in the images. You know, we have the, uh, the rooted hair. I totally can't think of his girlfriend's name right now. I'm totally drawing a blank, which is funny, but this seems fine. I mean, based off of, I think I'd have to go to Sideshow to actually look at this one because I know this was like their secret thing and it was like, oh, you know, the mystery uh, head sculpt that actually comes with it. Uh, let's see. Ash Williams. Oh, can't seem to find anything on uh, on Sideshow. Normally it comes right up. Or maybe it's because I put the space in there. Who knows? Oh, no, here we go. I have to check out these little images, but. Yeah, it, I swear, it's that paint. It's the paint right across the top. Like, the head's not as detailed, which I'm actually okay with. It's the paint application that really bugs me when I look at these pictures where I'm just like, that's the one thing where I'm just like, that just looks odd. Where it's just like a red streak. just straight. It's just like a straight thing. And when you look at these pictures, it's like, okay, it's a, it's a bit gash across the top where clearly he's supposed to be bleeding all the way down. But... That's not really what it looks like when you actually pick it up. And I can't find the pictures. I guess it's not on SciShow. I forgot where it was at, but here we go. This is, this is her head. Super blown out, of course. But once again, check out my main channel. I'll have some much better pictures for this. But that's fine. Um, I wasn't much of a fan of the rooted hair to begin with, but I know why they did it because of the um the deluxe base. You could like put her head in the vice and it was like, well, you know, if they did the sculpted hair, you'd have you'd be running the risk of either doing it too tight and you know, kind of cracking it or scuffing it up or even if you didn't do it too tight in general if you put anything pretty much on any of these figures and stuff like that over time that paint can wear off and odds are you'd either have her in the vice or not in the vice so it wouldn't be as big of an issue but you wouldn't want to have want to have marks on any parts of your figures whether you're using them or not you want them to be pristine so that's just how it is so i, I totally understand that um here we are with the seamless hand seamless arms so that's interesting. I didn't know how they were going to do it. I was really curious because with it being like a replacement piece for his arms and stuff, I was super curious how that was going to work. And that is not what I thought it was going to be. It's basically just um, it's just like a, a piece over it. it it's like just a, a flap of flesh, I guess, which is oddly appropriate, I guess. But it's like a little just a, a flap of flesh over it, which Part of that I'm okay with because I was curious. I was like, okay, it's kind of cool that they have, you know, like the seamless arms and stuff. But I, I was curious. I was like, okay, well, you know, if I have the seamless arms, how long is that really going to last? But I'm kind of okay with this. And looking at the picture, yeah, you can kind of tell. I mean, obviously the hand is separate anyway, so that, you know, that was to be expected. But 
That's interesting. I, I'm curious how long this would last compared to if it was like an actual full seamless arm, you know, all the way. Um, which I guess it's, I mean, if you can swap them out, I guess this is the only way you could possibly do it. So I, I was always curious about that because I'm like, how do you do that? I, I'd never seen a figure uh, like that before. So I'm like, how do they do it where it's fully seamless, but it's not a seamless body? So I, I was curious how that was going to play out. And I was like, oh, okay, you just you just put a little wrapping around it and it looks seamless, which might make it last longer, actually, because you technically speaking, if it's not an actual you know full seamless arm with like pieces on the inside, it's really just an arm with, you know, kind of um like i said a flap of flesh wrapped around it you probably don't run the risk of you know pinching nearly as much i i think that would be interesting so it's got the seamless look but it has the generic function of being like okay well technically on the inside it's just the normal pieces so it's not like you know metal underneath or you know any sort of seamless body whatever may or may not be the skeleton which typically i believe is metal for pretty much all of them um so that's interesting. I think that's actually a cool way to do that. And it, like I said, it may or may not last longer. I don't actually know. I've never even experienced anything like that before. So I think that's interesting, but still doesn't look the same. Doesn't look the same. His face just doesn't look the same. And so here we have the uh, tattered up shirt. And he's got the tears, he's got some blood and stuff. And pitter patter and splatters of blood. I think it looks fine. Um, once again, if I look at the thing and kind of do some comparisons, it definitely looks different. Actually, on there, it looks like there's a bit less blood. It looks, oddly enough, less dingy. So I don't know which I, which one I actually prefer as far as like his dirty shirt. So, mm, that's kind of hard to tell. That's that's hard to say. But it's interesting. You know, I, I think this is fine. Personally, I'm okay with this. Like, it just looks okay. Um even in the pictures like i said to me personally it just looks okay so i'm not sure how much of a difference i would really see in that so i'm okay with that i'm all, it's all right so before we get to the base we'll hop back to ash check out a couple of little extra bits and pieces here so we have the deadite hand oh, okay fingers are a bit rubbery so you can actually move them a bit i actually like the detail and like the way the hand looks the the muscles and stuff like that so that's not bad i think that's pretty decent it looks like i'm kind of flipping off because the middle finger is the highest one but you know that's not bad once again you can kind of see yeah you can see in there you can see the little uh parts where they have it where it's like kind of almost like it's dehydrated skin so even like a normal flex like that you can see a lot of wrinkles in the palm so i think that's interesting and then of course you got your little nub there so that's not bad i think that's cool of course we have our groovy chainsaw Feels like it moves a tiny bit, so I don't know what the deal is with that per se, but there we go. Okay, so this, you know, obviously this doesn't pull out, it's not going to rev up or anything, but the actual crank does move a little bit. It is actually on a string. I don't want to mess with it too much, but it does kind of give the illusion that it could actually pull out because it's on a string and it can actually spin around a bit. That'd be cool if they did have like a little spool and you could actually have them like, you know, kind of ripping it. That would be sick. I, I would love that. And this definitely does move. It has like a little bit of shake to it. Um, I mean, heck, that could just be bad quality. I don't know. I'm just saying it, it has a little bit of shake to it. Who knows? But detail wise, I think it looks good. There's a little close up of that. Yeah, you got your blood. Actually, man, I have a, I totally forgot I would have brought it up. Oh, actually, it's right there. I'll be right back. Check out my Naruto pajamas. <laughs> I actually have a charger. This right here. Uh, one of the few things I've gotten from Loot Crate years and years and years ago that I actually always thought was cool. So this is the Ash versus Evil Dead, and it's uh it's actually a power bank. So there you go. You know, obviously it's technically the Ash versus Evil Dead, but it's the chainsaw. So there, there you go. Random little thing. But I like it. It's nice. It's obviously not nearly as vibrant as that, but I'm fine with that because I mean it's been a minute since I actually watched the movie, but it wasn't like insanely vibrant it may have been a little bit brighter I, I would say it was more red and i would consider this more burgundy but i'm also okay with that i, I think it looks fine we're gonna move to the con condarian dagger and candarian dagger it's been a minute since i've heard the pronunciation but okay that's cool i've never actually looked at anything close up on this before so that's nice it's got a little bit of bend to it at the end so it's not totally um sculpted and just like rigid if you drop it 
I'd say, you know, try not to drop it, but if you drop it, you drop it on the tip there, and you, you should be okay. So, you know, it's not too bad, not too bad. If it'll zoom in on the thing. And then there's the bottom, of course. Where they're stabbing people in the back at the end of the film. And then, of course, we have the boomstick. Now, I recently had a thing <laughs> with a uh, grenade launcher for my Resident Evil stuff. Where the grenade launcher definitely looked like if you moved a piece, which I eventually did, um, you could actually have it bend over. Like, it, you know, like you're loading it. I don't believe they have that as a technical feature. However, this shotgun definitely bends. And I can see that because you can clearly see the spacing. And this might actually show up if I get close enough. You can actually you can just see that little screw so that always means that it can bend now there might be instructions in this box which we will see but i don't think that's the case so i'm gonna mess with that at some point or maybe i won't depending on how i feel about this figure as a whole and whether or not i want to return it but it definitely looks like it bends over so you could have sort of a loading um position all in all, I, I think it looks good. I know I didn't show it off too much, but, you know, the boom, there's your, your boomstick. Decent, decent. I'll see about that. I doubt it's supposed to, but I also don't think my grenade launcher was supposed to, but I was able to figure that out. Then we, of course, have... Oh, this is nice. It actually opens up. I don't want to mess with that too much, but... Oh, that's actually cool. It has quite a few pages in here. So we, of course, have the Necronomicon... Ex Maltus, the Book of the Dead. And then you actually have some pages on the inside here. I don't want to open that too much. Like I said, you know, I feel like it's it's one of those things you do kind of over time when you mess with it. So with it being fresh, I definitely don't want to do that, you know, too much. We also have the uh I didn't realize this even came with it, but they have the wrap nub. So there's that. Not much to actually look at, but it's the nub. So if you want to have it where he actually just doesn't have a hand, they actually put that in there. I didn't realize that in the pictures, or I just probably forgot. And we're actually, you know what? We'll check out the hands, and then we'll move on to the luxury side of things, or deluxe side. They typically call the deluxe editions luxury, but I'm used to looking up all the Devil May Cry stuff. They always call it the luxury edition. So I don't know why they changed it for this, but... Maybe calling it luxury was too weird because it's either dead, but Devil May Cry also has demons. So, you know, it is what it is. As far as the hands, they look nice to me. I know that there were, you know, amongst the issues <laughs> with the figure. I heard that there were some problems with the hands and stuff. Um, this looks fine to me. You know, I, I like the detail. You know, every, all the hands are, you know, appropriately dirty because this is, of course, Ash really towards like the end of the film and kind of doing his thing and already getting into the action so it seems fine to me I, i'm all right with kind of how this is all playing out here actually we're gonna shift this over that way i can just pop this bad boy right here i'm still getting used to like this i never have this giant angle so i'm like all this open space is not what i normally have is normally like prop in way more so I, I realized I'm like, eh, like there's a lot of open space camera wise. That's not normally what I have, but needed the extra space for you know giant figure. But hand wise, I think everything looks good here. Ooh. They look good. We got you know two pairs of fists, two pairs of gun hands, two pairs of what I would assume are probably for the chainsaw, the kind of like gripping hands. So they're too wide for the blade, but you you know. Yeah, I would assume it would have to either be for like, you know, maybe the bottom of the shotgun, that sort of deal, or the chainsaw. And then this, uh, put the book in it, I guess, with the two fingers kind of lifting up like that. You can probably mess around with it, get a couple different things as far as holding. And then, of course, like I said, we've got a pair of fists, normal, dirty, just fists, like, you know, not much to it, just fists. So I think the hands look cool. I'll have to check that out later on my own time and really mess around with it if I want to. Once again, we'll see what happens. 
Now moving on to what is the deluxe part of this deluxe figure. We have this super heavy base. I might actually just have to straight up flip this to get, even get it out. That is heavy. So I would recommend not dropping this on your foot and being extra, extra careful. Oh yeah, that's a, excuse me, that's a solid heavy piece right there. Now, I know I have a blade around here somewhere, so I'm gonna have to go grab that. I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna just use this itty bitty screwdriver. So, final thing to check out. Once again, amongst the issues that people have mentioned, uh, a lack of hair on Henrietta. That I find very interesting because the woman has hair and like a, a decent chunk of hair, especially with, you know, looking at the promo pictures, it's like, well, that's a decent chunk of hair that you even showed that she would have, um, but you know, also a decent amount of detail that you showed the figure would have. So we shall see if she doesn't have hair. We'll also have to see, uh, once again, paint application because I saw some images of that and was like, mm. once again, that that's the thing that's kind of bugging me the most um because the figures even if they don't have as much detail i can still be okay with it because it's like at, at least the figures actually look like the characters so, like that's kind of the main thing um but the paint application you know i okay let's do this Ooh. do this the other way you know but the paint applications like i was about to say um, typically haven't ever had that as an issue or anything that I noticed before. And of course, you know, I'm fairly new to buying figures. It's very solid. I, I definitely like, I love how it looks actually. Like that's, that just looks nice. And it's solid, um, uh, big piece. Let's set all this up, but I haven't, you know, being newer to collecting and stuff, hadn't really had that issue before as far as like, oh, this you know, the paint application doesn't really look as good. Uh, let's see. Okay. This Henry at top. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Let's check out these pictures. Okay. I'd say mine is fine. I've seen pictures where it definitely look worse. So that was the thing where I'm like, you know, lots of figures are technically like hand painted you know there's all that stuff so it's like kind of have to just wait and see i actually think mine looks okay i i think you know it's definitely got like some minute little things here and there um but just to give you guys like a, a close-up look you know look at the detail totally washed out so this is horrible horrible but once again check out my main channel and I'll have like some much better lighting for the pictures. That's always like the main thing when I do this because I have like the bright light because, um, you know, that's just a light that I have. It works when it's just me from a distance, but whenever I have to do anything up close, it's like, yeah, it just looks bad. It just looks super washed out. But I think it looks good. I, I, I think it's fine. I, I like what I'm seeing here. You know, comparing it to the pictures and stuff, I'm like, yeah, th this actually looks okay. So this I'm not disappointed in. This I think has... You know, looking at the actual, you know, image of the picture and stuff like that. Does my hand turn? It doesn't. They just have to put the hand on separately or something. There's like a little crease here. It looks like you can turn the hand. And also, even her fingers are um, kind of glossy, I would say. So it makes it look like, you know, that look like when I first took it, I was like, oh, you know, our fingers kind of pliable and they are not. But yeah, I would say all in all, this this looks good though. I, I like the hair, the amount of hair that's on it, I think is decent. The painting for it, I think is good. You know, she's dead, so she looks fairly pale, but it's not like completely white or anything like that. So I'm good with this, you know, especially looking at the pictures and everything. Yeah, yeah, this this I'm, I'm definitely fine with. I, I think this actually has pretty much the exact amount of detail that you can see. I don't know if I actually showed like a little bit off there, like, bits and pieces where she's kind of opened up 
also the side of her head totally blown out <laughs> but it does actually look much better and pretty far better you know than what you're seeing of course but yeah i actually i am i i would say i'm actually happy with this i think this pretty much looks just like the images that i'm looking at like you know obviously slight differences each thing being individually painted you know all that crap um pretty much looks exactly the same so definitely happy with henrietta there and we have all these little bits and pieces we got our head vice so that's cool and it must be oh you know what i'm done i didn't realize there's like another level here and i wanted to check this out this is i, I forgot to do it but mine does have the right name so i will say that ash williams it is there i know that was a thing um for those of you who don't know there it was a thing his name was misspelled i was glad i was kind of happy because i know some people got it early and basically they were like you know we'll send out a sticker and that's what happened so oddly enough because i bought from asmus i got mine later than had i actually got it from sideshow super weird that not really how it's supposed to happen but for whatever reason it did with this figure um but i ended up getting mine later so i didn't actually have that issue but that was like the one thing i saw and i was like oh and that's how i saw like a the other picture of Ash was like, oh, that doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to look. But it didn't seem it wasn't super crazy. And I just didn't think to look further into it to be like, do I still want this or not want this? Um, So, that you know, that was like the one thing to really check out. But his name is spelled correctly on mine. So that's that's decent. I don't need a replacement sticker. Which is just one of those things like I've seen it happen before. It's not just as like Hot Toys actually did it very recently with the uh what was that the clone trooper the clone trooper the 501st clone trooper from clone wars star wars clone wars they did the exact same thing it was it's the 501st battalion is what it was it's supposed to say and then basically they switched the letters were switched around and it pretty much said battalion and it was like oh okay it was a couple hundred bucks but nobody was just like battalion you know no one was like Williams, because I'm pretty sure the I was missing, so it just said Williams, and I cannot get this thing out for the life of me. But it's definitely one of those things where it's like, oh, okie dokie. And there's, you know, with this, it was a fix because it was like, hey, just slap a sticker on it, because that's how they actually happen to do it. But if I'm not mistaken, for Hot Toys, they couldn't do that. It was like etched into the the front piece, like they etched their stuff in. So I don't think they had a replacement for that. It was. It just was what it was. It, either you got the first batch where it was effed up, or you got the second batch um, where it was not. And unfortunately for me, both times, I ended up with the second batch where it was not effed up. You know, this, however, being um, still having its issues. You know, it's, it's not as fortunate as the uh, clone trooper where it was just very simple. This works and it's good. And, you know, I got the right text. Everything else was perfect. And this, you know, back and forth on its issues. Um, not an issue, though. Amazing base. I love this base. Just, you know, once again, sort of wide it out there, but looks good. So insanely happy. You know, if someone's trying to rob you, you can turn them into a deadite with the bottom of this base. That I think is cool. So I'm trying to do some live setup here with this thing. Let's see how far, see exactly what this, I think this is... It is. Okay, I was trying to figure that. I'm like, it's not wrapped around anything. There's a magnet right here for the chain. So that's actually, that's neat. So you can kind of see me pulling at it. But when it was all tangled up, I'm like, it, it felt like it was wrapped around something because it was just on the magnet. So that's actually kind of cool. Oddly enough, there are no instructions. I mean, I don't think it's the most complicated thing in the universe. But typically, you know, if there's anything like, you know, kind of like this, I mean... I'm looking at it, I can figure it out, but it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you think it'd be like something, you know, a little bit here and there, maybe just anything at all. I, I tend to see that with figures where it'll be like simple stuff. It'll just be like, hey, you know, make sure you do it this way. And it's like, you know, it was literally just like, take it off carefully is basically what the instructions might say. And I'm kind of surprised with this that there's nothing in it. I mean, the only other figure I have is their uh, Virgil figure. And I don't believe that came with any instructions or you anything you know pointers or anything like that but it is kind of interesting oh holy crap there's multiple magnets okay 
this whole thing one two three yeah so there's four magnets because as soon as i said i was like it's already heavier than it just was magic so it's magnets magnets are so cool how do they work should have let that slam down like an idiot i did though we got a little lock here actually i'll take this off show you guys the very top of this and since we got a bunch of magnets i'll just let this kind of stick but with the bottom base and the chains and stuff we actually have a little little padlock there that's actually kind of cool and you can kind of wrap it through you know kind of like they do in the movie you can thread it all the way through so we're going to slap this on here and we'll drop <laughs> we'll drop her inside and just have her kind of peeking out a little bit what the heck okay there we go I, hmm. I guess we will find out real quick. But I don't believe there's a magnet. No. Okay. So there's no magnet. Um, as far as she is concerned, she's kind. Of, she just kind of floats in there, so you can kind of put it the way that you want it. I didn't think of this before, but it's definitely one of those things where you might want to actually kind of chain it up. A very specific way so that it's not act i mean as of now that's just sitting like right on top of her head so if i flip this around that's just you know sitting right on her head that is not what you want for your figure um so there's definitely a way to kind of i would assume that there's a way to specifically chain it up and not have it just like right on the figure like they kind of have it in the picture but the very top of the picture is kind of cut off. Like somebody could just have their finger like right on the edge holding the thing up. So that I'll figure out on my own time. I'm not going to do that like while it's live. Um, because I know that that would take me a good minute. So oh, you even have to put this together. I didn't realize that. Pop these little pieces together. I would assume. It's either that or this. Oddly enough, the spacing is just about the same both ways, so I can't actually tell which one is right and which one is wrong, which is funny. It's cool though, I like it. So you got like a decent little spin action. Oh, that just comes right out. Okay, so this just this can just pull right out if you want. It's the very end of the uh, vice grip. It just comes out, and I would assume, yeah, you can just push and pull this i think it has a max length. it feels it, it there's a lot of resistance there but i think you can push it pretty much all the way out yeah so this is just normal force you just push and pull and open and close as much as you might want and then i think once you kind of have it set then you they have it where you just pop that back in to make it look like it moved but that's a cool way to do that because that way this isn't in the way you like kind of pushing and pulling there's this isn't this tiny little piece is like underneath your finger in the way so that was actually a cool way to do that and just have it separate it and then, you know, like I said, it's just push and pull. So it's very simple. And then you just pop that back in. It's like, all right, that's the spacing I want. And then you just put that in there and kind of actually you can spin it. So that way it's not even touching the ground if you have it flat. So that's not bad. I would have to look up the actual pictures to set up this whole thing. In fact, I'm probably just going to do it <laughs> based on this. All right. Da, da, da. Okay. So see, this is... pictures help. Pictures help. So. Pop this on the bottom. Or maybe I have that backwards because it looks like it's more detailed this way. I think that is right. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. And then this goes like this because it's supposed to go into the wall. This is so interesting. But I do like it. I think it's, you know, simply, I'm going to take her out of here actually. Now this all the way down. I do like that the chain's actually super, super long because it's actually very appropriate. And then there's a tiny hole right there. Put that in. Okay. I gotta like wiggle it around a little bit to actually get it exactly how it's supposed to be. Uh. I don't want to be like insanely forceful with it. Yeah, okay, that's right. Got to double check because otherwise you just push something in and then boom, it breaks and you're like, 
Oh, that's that's great. That's great. It broke. This but there it is. So I'm like the bottom one was definitely where the main problem was at. And this is kind of it's weird. Like hmm. it feels like there's too much space. I think is the best way to put it. Like, I mean, like you can kind of see how I can use my finger to spin it around. It feels like there's just too much space and it's not sturdy enough. And I feel like that's a part of why it's so difficult to have it all kind of sit still like it's supposed to. Yeah. Pop this bad boy right on top. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't. It's not really like flush, but I guess it doesn't really need to be. And then you can put the flight pole there. This is a normal plastic one. Um, yeah, your, like your classic. Um, crotch grabber you know not really a waist clamp or anything like that it's nor the usual the usual and just pop that in there too there's my batch a little bit of string on them and i'm gonna just put them up here just to help man this leg was way out there oh he's got a little tear in the foot too i didn't even realize that up a bit Nope, not the right way I wanted to bring that up. This has to come up, right? Or am I, okay, I'm like, am I crazy? Like this has to rise. Okay, it seems oddly difficult. Unless I'm just doing it wrong. Cause I'll admit I haven't actually used one of these specific types before, but I also thought it was really just you squeeze it and then you there it is that was just super tight i mean i guess it's new so i guess that would be why but it still wasn't high enough <laughs> hey i figured that would be a little too high there we go so obviously <laughs> As simple as it gets, no motion or anything like that, but there he is. Ash Williams, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. All in all, I'm okay with the figure. I think I'm okay with it enough to actually keep the figure, and I think I'm happy with it enough to be like, I'm aside. Like, it's literally the detail, of course, is definitely the thing where it's like, oh, okay. And I'll look into it more, depending on how I feel, no joke. The head sculpt, like if I look at it and I still feel like his eyes are just way too wonky, because like I said, you know, you gotta get him in the right light too, just because like the way they have it with his eyebrows and everything like that, like it's it casts a lot of shadow even in direct light. So just looking at it, it's like his eye really does look like it's going like straight up, and then this eye over here looks like it's kind of going like a little bit up. But neither of his eyes look like they're going forward, like 100%. Like, you look at the picture, you know, if you go to the promo stuff, he looks like he's just looking kind of straight ahead. And I'm feeling like I'm seeing way too much of the bottom of his eye. And that could be just a me problem, because once again, just like, you know, random little bits and pieces here and there, technically handcrafted. But I'm feeling like his eyes are just not where they should be and just the red smudge across the top of his head definitely bugs me and honestly the just in general the paint application on his face like honestly he could have a clean cut face or you know just like no blood whatsoever and it might look better and that's not what you should be saying ever about a figure that has you know detail on it because looking at the figure that is in the promo pic it's not just like a line straight across that looks like you know runny paint it's like okay there's more blood over here but there's less up here it's like slightly different color and it's like that looks better and like i said even the cuts across his nose 100 not even there 
So that's definitely something. And like he's got a cut that goes this cut that's across his lip is not actually in the promo pic. It's just like the cut uh, underneath uh, his bottom lip. So it's like they added like a little stuff and then they got like the stuff on the side here where it just looks so plain like it i mean they're cuts so if they had it where they were actual cuts it would be different and you can tell even in the uh promo pics that it's just drawings it's not like actual like cuts in his face so technically it's not like that's wrong or anything or you know it's it's different but something about it when you actually see it in person it falls flat as far as like oh that's a cut on his face because when you look at it it's like okay it's just like a line or it's like it, it looks like he has blood kind of running down his face but because it's like it's still it's something about it just doesn't translate 100 percent. where it's like oh that looks really good so it's kind of like eh, you know it's kind of so-so um also they definitely made the shirt much dirtier as far as like you know this being the clean shirt it's it's far dirtier than what's in the promo pic i think i'm okay with that because pretty much all of this is meant to be ash i mean obviously the head sculpt is him with blood on his face him having like the fully clean blue shirt wouldn't even really make a lot of sense so i'm actually okay with the shirt being super dirty in this compared to you know the promo pics it's like it's basically really clean shirt ash and, and then you know the torn you know messed up shirt so I, i'm okay with it being dirty and stuff like that because i actually think that does make a bit more sense um because it's much dirtier than what they have there where it's like it's kind of like dingy at the very top and then the bottom is like really clean and i'm like it makes a lot more sense for it to be completely dirty but you could also argue that it's still a little too dirty like it is 100 dirty all over the place and it's oddly enough it, i feel like it's cleaner towards the top um so you could argue that because i don't think he was really that dirty 100 percent um at least not before so it's been a minute since i actually watched the movie so i couldn't you know i'm not really paying that much attention to be like how ex how much percentage of dirt versus clean shirt did he have you know going throughout the film um so it, you know it is one of those things where it's like yeah i'm okay with it you know it's just like he was going through a bunch of stuff if the shirt is not pristine which it shouldn't be to begin with is it too dirty i guess you could argue and like i said i haven't seen the movie in a minute so i can't tell you like 100 percent this is too dirty for like him having the full shirt versus the torn version might be this dirty i'm okay with that so that that part i'm fine with it really is just you know the blood across the top the head sculpt does not have as much um detail as i would expect or you know definitely expect based on what they showed us so you know there's that and maybe hmm, maybe the chainsaw can spool no nah, this is actually sealed I thought that might be open like the little spot where he had it so we could do that it, it's it's sealed so it definitely doesn't that would have been super cool they just put like a little spool in there like you know so you could actually pull it and hook it like he's doing it that would have been amazing but so would having the exact amount of detail we were supposed to have in the figure but all in all it's still ash i just gotta see how i feel about the eyes everything else i'm actually okay with um where did i put the rest of this stuff I put it down somewhere so the, his other head is somewhere here that is you know i'm okay with it uh and here's of course the other shirt which eh. mm, i'd say yeah that's a, a decent match it's obviously dirtier in different ways it looks a little bit cleaner <laughs> which is super funny of course uh because this is like just straight up dirt like off the the front here so with that being like you know i mean like you can clearly see like it's just dirt it's like it just looks dirty and then you got this which of course i'm not going to swap this out but you can kind of see it's like it's actually not as dirty in the blood soaked one so maybe they could have swapped that around a little bit and had the, um this shirt look more like this one minus the blood splatter and then kind of reverse it and then this one be like fully dirty and then also have blood splatter but I would say I probably like this one a little bit more because I feel like it's I feel like it's actually um buried I think is the best one because of course with this being just dirt it kind of just like oh they kind of just dirt um so with this being a bit varied it definitely looks better to me you know there's a bit more detail in that but still I'm all right with it and then once again the deadite head it's just like 
it looks like jam it was like strawberry jam just right across the top it's so simple and that's the thing that's and like just right on the ear it's like it's just eh. it's, it's like it's just dark ketchup like it really just looks like it like they put too much and it looks too simple for how much they put where it's just a line going across and then on the ear there's just too much blood to me and it's just i don't know and i, I would love to know your thoughts on this so definitely let me know with that but the head itself i think looks good i i think the head sculpt is fine there he, he's got like actual cuts so it's definitely more detailed you can feel the grooves and stuff as well of course i like that more than him having like just the lines on his face because he was bleeding and he got like little scratches um I would have liked it if they either yeah, honestly i would have liked it if they just put the detail even if that wasn't 100 percent accurate um i think i still would have liked it if they just added that in and just add you added something even if it wasn't supposed to be super deep just like a tiny little line so if you touched his face it wasn't you know completely smooth It'd be like oh i can feel like just the tiniest little hint of like a cut even if it, you know if it's going throughout that whole thing i think that would have added to it um but yeah i i'm i like i said i still have to look into it and truly determine if i'm gonna keep this uh because it is kind of disappointing you know it's evil dead like i think like a lot of people i was over the moon hyped for this because i love evil dead and it's like there you know there are no evil dead figures like that's just how it, i mean you can get neca figures there are a bunch of neca figures which is kind of funny i remember the first time i saw the evil dead 2 neca figure and i didn't get it and i was like oh you know i saw it like a couple of times at walmart and then um I just never ended up getting it and i was always like dang i wish i got that and so then when this came out i was like oh cool i could have like an even more advanced version of the figure and it's like oh do i do i have a more advanced version like technically yes I, I certainly do i have arms you know swap out arms i got all the bits and pieces and they're more detailed and crafted sure but i've seen comments where people are like the neca figures have face wise you know better facial detail and i haven't looked at pictures of that sort of stuff uh, like i said i wasn't even truly aware of the issues that we were you know supposed to have with this i'm happy to say that henrietta for me at least i think the henrietta looks great i think the henrietta looks pretty much spot on to you know what they actually had um so that i'm i'm perfectly fine with and it's that's the funny thing it's like if he didn't have the gash across the head on here and like the paint on the ear the dead eye head would also genuinely for me be perfect i would be like that's 100% fine. He's got actual cuts. I think, you know, the sunken in eyes, all that. He's not really supposed to look 100% like Ash because that's the point. He's like the demon demon version of Ash. I would say that's perfect. It's that giant gash across the top, which depending on how I feel, I haven't gone into any um, sort of custom stuff. As far as figures are concerned, I haven't done anything like that before. So, eh, I might, I might, might depending on how i feel i might um so we'll see how that ends up turning out if i decide to do that in general i just don't know what to do really with ash's head um that's the unfortunate part it's ash's face and that's it's the face of the character it's ash williams it's 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 evil dead it's ash so i don't know i, I don't know i really have to look into it and i swear i have to like i'm gonna like get my macro lens and like i'm gonna zoom in on his freaking eyes because with like the big light in front of me and stuff i have to get like full lighting around him and like look at his eyes once again if you know this will be in the uh the edited version on my main channel but i'm gonna get i'm gonna look in his eyes i'm gonna be like if his eyes are too effed up if his eyes are just wonky i'm not doing i don't think i can do it i genuinely don't believe that if i have this figure and i don't like his eyes I don't feel like I can keep it. But I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. I do love everything else about the figure. I think everything else is good. I love the base. You know, I have to kind of mess around with that to get, you know, the head in there and um, set everything up with Henrietta and all that good stuff. But it's, it's definitely everything else. And that's the funny thing. Everything else is great, but it's like that small piece you know like sometimes one piece is like oh, that's one piece when one piece is literally like the head sculpt isn't as perfect as we thought it was gonna be and it, the funny thing is like i can just looking at it i'm like it's it, it literally is those minute details where it's just like it's not as good as the picture i'm looking at and it's it's just interesting to see because there are so few things that are actually changed 
yet there's just that that feeling of difference or it's it, it, i don't know you know if you collect figures you know exactly what it is it's just that weird thing that you can't truly get or like express where it's just like something about it i don't know don't know why but something about it isn't a hundred percent also i realized that the stupid line that i actually hate isn't even in the promo thing i wish i didn't add that uh the little line right here on the side of his head that's not even in the promo the prototype version of the figure they really should have kept that off because i i genuinely feel like that just looks like like one of my kids was just like oh let me just zip, marker tiny like just a tiny artistic line and it doesn't look great it does not look that great i didn't check the uh the inside as far as like him having the cuts and stuff like that so you know that stuff i have to mess around with and even figure out exactly how to get the shirt off and stuff once again somewhat surprised that they don't have um a bit more detail as far as uh instructions and stuff and i realize now i went through so much of just how the figure looked and everything i didn't even like mess around with any of the posing or anything like how far out does it go and all that good stuff but you know you got your classic you know go all the way out i mean he's wearing fabric so it's one of those things where it's like you can pose it and you're good to go I believe he has a double bend if i'm not mistaken and then i'm pretty sure the um i think they actually explain it i think the seamless arms are a single bend and then i oh know it says it's double jointed i guess that's just for like the bicep swivel is what it means when it says double joint it um oh yeah that's that's yeah so we got double jointed elbows i mean the, the way they have it where it says double joint it it's like up at his shoulder so i'm like i i guess that's for the bicep swivel they mean double joint it um, but yeah, it feels like he's got double jointed uh, elbows. So that's cool. Let's see what we got for the legs here. Oh, we got some decent ratchets there. So it's kind of like the main thing, like actually being able to pose the figure, but I, <laughs> there's there's so much to talk about. It's like, does it look right? Is it not right? So I forgot to do all the basics. Boom, double bend, there we go. We got separation, yep. Uh, so the whole shoe is um, its own thing, but of course, you know, it's not like a super long boot or anything like that. So it's a regular size boot. Everything is good. The bottom of the shoes do actually have detail to them. There we go. The minor things, you know, stuff I totally forgot about because I'm just like, his eyes look kind of wonky. I'm just, who the F cares if he can bend his arms, you know? So apologies for that. And obviously I'm, I'm new to doing reviews anyway, which is why I don't really do them too often, but had to do that for this one. And it's just like, his eyes looking up. I saw like his eyes just looking. If I can just like touch his eye and just like bring it down, I'd be like, you know what? He's at least looking at me. But right now he's kind of just like, just like he's looking up there somewhere. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get the light on him. I'm gonna get the light on him, and I'm gonna probably look into it. Cause honestly, if I can get the eyes straight, I swear it's his, it's his face. It's his effing face. The gash across the top is dumb. The little line on the side there freaking hate like that line going down just looks so bad to me like the one on the side is okay and, and like i said i still wish it had a bit more detail but you know even looking at it that way it's like oh that's not bad but that line on the side i swear like i said it literally just looks like someone just went like okay yeah yeah it's, it's done and it's like i i hate that i hate that so much and the blood on the ear just looks like too much it just looks like too much, which I think is accurate to that part in the film. Like when he's, uh, I think it's the part when he's like screaming and stuff and everything's laughing at him. At that part, he does have like the super bloody ear. So it's technically accurate, but it, I don't know. I It's just the way they did it. It's like, maybe just do less blood, even though it was super bloody, maybe find a way to do less blood on the ear because it doesn't really fit with the figure. And you know, that's just me. I, I hope, you know, everyone else really loves the figure a hundred percent. I hope their eyes aren't wonky. I'm telling you, I can look at them. I know his eyes are off. And that's the thing like if i can't figure out his effing eyes what's the point what is the point but that's the weird thing it's the one thing that honestly amongst everything like despite all the issues that i'd seen and you know how worried i was even though it's not as detailed it's really just the way he actually looks like literally the way he is looking with his eyes does not seem right to me so i think that's like just an extra issue that i seem to have uh hopefully it's just me and hopefully I'm wrong and it's just my lighting. But that's the thing. If I can figure that out, I'm totally good with this figure. I'm still happy that I got it. Um, as of now, I'm you know still happy. If I figure that out and everything's good, then ultimately I'm happy. I don't, I don't mind. I, I stuff an evil dead, an insane base, of course. You know, you how could I not when it's evil dead too? 
and it's Evil Dead in general. Like I said, you know, I missed out on the NECA figure, and then it was like, oh man, you know, it's never gonna come around again. And then poof, one six scale Ash Williams, and it's like, holy crap! You know, I was so excited, and then I was worried when I saw that video earlier, and then it's like, oh yeah, yeah, the blood on the top, it's really bugging me, and I, it's just like those little things, and it's on the head. If it was like, oh, his hands don't look a hundred percent right, or like. You know, I mean, if they were like straight up messed up, if it was like, you know, mold spots and stuff, you know, or not mold, um, molding spots, like the sculpture spots. I can't think of what I'm trying to say, but you probably know what I'm talking about. Like as they go through the design, you have like the pieces popping through. If it was like early spots and it was like there's like bubbles and whatever, I'd be like, well, no, no, I, I'd, I'd be mad. But for me, everything else is good. Obviously, I haven't gone like 100 percent full detail as far as like the other hands and stuff, but everything seems good except for like the centerpiece right here and that that you know like you cut off the head the rest of the body falls and that's that's where we are right now at least for my figure so i'm in a really weird spot right now because everything else i'm still totally fine with like i'm still happy with everything else and it's just like yeah when i look at it that like just the face is like it's not as detailed and it's just like those those little bits and pieces where i'm just like oh i wish i could just get rid of like that tiny little bit and i feel like i'd be fine and fix those f and i's because that's my main thing right now but since that's where we are i was going to do a comparison with leon and have you know size wise and stuff i'm not going to bother doing that this is more than long enough and very inefficient um it's just the ramblings of a man who was so excited and now he's feeling all right still all right i mean this is a lot you know like this is a, a fairly expensive figure especially with it you know being the luxury edition i was you know super hyped i'm like it's it's evil dead i can't risk it which you know they were doing like 666 pieces which apparently they changed and expanded and it ended up being more than that um and i thought that was interesting I was like, oh what? Hmm. that's not as limited as limited hmm. um but yeah i you know with all the issues that it has I still like the figure a lot. I just have to be 100% on the eyes. If I can fix it myself, which I kind of doubt I can, but if I can find a way to do it and he's looking straight, I do not care. Everything else is fine. I'm going to always be bugged by that like, this what that stupid little streak on the side. I don't know what it is. And like you just I mean, look how red the top of his head is. Like it just looks like it, it's too much. It's too uniform. That's what it is. And that's why I said the Rafiki thing where it was like just you know, there you go. That that's too uniform. It looks like they they went across way too perfectly, and it just does not work. Maybe it also doesn't help that it's so bright because I feel like it should be a little bit darker, especially because they have like the other little lines that are much darker. It should be. I mean, heck, if you like, it's for he has like that really black or not black, but like much darker blood spot. Yet right above that, I mean, obviously it's to represent a newer gash across his head. But it's just like such a giant contrast. And then there's just so much. Like I said, it's not like, oh, a little spot. And then he's got like bright right here. It's just bright right across the top. Like somebody like scratched him all the way across the top of his head. And that's definitely where the big problem was as far as like the paint application for me. And it's just like, ah, it's weird that they just went all the way across. Like just separate that a little. Do half the forehead or really do it kind of like it looks in the picture where it looks a bit more detailed it looks like there are spots in the actual um cut on the promo pic where it is darker across his forehead in spots like some spots is lighter here but darker in the middle and you know spots over here so it's like do that why didn't they actually do that and it's the weirdest little thing where everything else i'm actually okay with also it's showing that the uh the vice grip thing actually does work so let's let's test the let, let's does that actually work? I'm gonna have to take it off. I can't, <laughs> I can't do it that way. Cause it's showing that it will actually twist and open. So yeah. I'm not seeing that. I, I don't know if, I mean, clearly it just comes out. Like there's nothing, there's no latches on there. I don't know what that was. For. Okay. Okay, no, I've seen it now. It's showing that it can twist and then you can just push it. Okay, never mind. I was looking at it weird. I'm like, wait a minute. Why is it showing that it does that? But 
I was looking at it wrong. It was just showing that you can actually twist it and then do the push and pull thing. So it's basically doing what I, I figured out. Okay. Ash Williams, Evil Dead 2. Asmus, I just got his arms all, all weird. You know, you know, why don't we do something wrong? It just, boop, there we go. Um, Yo, he's literally looking up. Like, his head doesn't actually really go down either. That was another thing. Decent articulation, you know, I think. Yeah, because he's got the scratches on the body, so it's like uh, a body covering a body. Yeah. Hmm. I just don't know. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know about that. I'm going to end this one. I'm going to end this stream here. Uh, thanks for checking this out. Uh, you know, odds are, if you're watching this, you're probably just watching the edited version. Um, so thanks for checking it out. <laughs> it is crazy. Right? I was... So, it's Evil Dead. It was supposed to be this... Evil Dead the game. Like that that's where I was at. That's where life was supposed to be. I like holy crap, Evil Dead the game's coming out. Holy crap, before that, my six scale Evil Dead Ash figure is here. Super hype. Wait for the game. Ultra hype. It, everything was supposed to be perfect. Evil Dead year. Evil like that just it was supposed to be that. And I got this wonky eyed dude with like just <laughs> hmm. If I can do something with it though, I'll be good. Everything like it's crazy. I'm fine with every other thing. Like, I don't like, you know, even on this, like I mentioned before, the red gash, but it's not as bad because the hair actually covers a big chunk of it. Um, I didn't mention that earlier, but with his hair being different, it covers a big chunk of the gash. Right there it is. So you don't see it as much. And it actually looks a lot better. It's still too much on that side. I just feel like it's, too, it's still too uniform and the ear is still way too um, red to me. But... When you can't see it as much, it's way better. But it's still it's still just too uniform and it's literally just across the whole forehead. It's it bugs me so much. That's why I keep I've said it like 18 times. It's just like just right across, just marker, just straight line across the forehead. And it's so even and uniform. It, it makes it worse. That's what makes it so so much worse. But other than that, I love the figure. That's the thing that sucks. But it's like, you know, like I said, cut the head off and the whole body falls. Like you the head sculpt is off. Everything's off. It doesn't. The thing you're going to look at the most is off. It's the guy, the person, Ash Williams, the the character. So when it just doesn't you know, match up to just the picture you have here, I make it worse by having his arms displayed out like that. I make it way worse as a comparison. But when it doesn't match up as much and I can just look at it and it's like, yeah, the detail there just it's just better and I, I think there's there's definitely stuff in the face for sure where it's like it's just those like i said those minute bits and pieces of like how our face moves that i can definitely tell is like it just looks better on the figure as well um but that's just the thing where it's like i can't truly explain which parts aren't a hundred percent like i think maybe a, bit, a couple spots around the mouth like couple you know wrinkles and stuff around the eyes things like that it's, it's hard to really be like what parts exactly are not what i want them to be um but all in all Ultimately, I like it, but it's hard to get past the fact that the head scope, they screwed up my eyes. That's 100% like, well, you got, that F's up like the whole thing. But other than that, I actually like the figure. Mine came out okay outside of him having the messed up eyes. I'd be totally fine with everything else. I'd be annoyed by that little line. I'd be annoyed by the giant line across his forehead. But if the eyes were good, I'd be like, you know what? It's not the best. And I will say this, we live in a world where figures get like an insane amount of like, hey, you know, that head wasn't that great. But this random company over here was like, dude, Williams or, you know, whatever. They might just straight up call him Ashley. Um, head random head sculpt from Evil Dead 2, you know, or, you know, Dead by Dawn, you know, uh, head sculpt. I might be fine. Somebody will probably do it down the line. I'll just be like, F it. I'll just take his head off and I'll just pop it on there. Everything else, I like I said, I, I'm okay with. You know, I, I'm perfectly fine with it. So, if somebody does that, I might be good with my figure. I love the base. I love the Henrietta. Um, 
his girlfriend, whose name I cannot ever remember right now. Everything else I'm good with. Something just came something just came out of my computer and plugged right back in. I don't know what that was. But either way. Oh, it was my stream deck. Um, but yeah, I'm in this here. This is way too long as is stream or otherwise. I don't know how this is gonna be edited, but yeah. Wish it was better. But we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to fix it. Thanks for checking this out. <sighs> we shall see.